I, like most people in this world, were blessed by not being very, very rich. But I was blessed by having a father who was a newspaper man. And the first time I remember actually seeing him was I was about four. And I thought, my God, that's glamorous. Now, of course, my dad was a very, very amusing neurotic, work-driven, glamorous, and I loved that. At the age of four, I knew where I was going. Well, strangely enough, I'm getting a bit emotional when I think about this. Oh, we always make fools of ourselves. Uh, in the point of my father, it ended up that myself and my father actually worked against each other in Holland. I get a little bit. I'll never forget a time when I was a copy boy and uh, my father was in the opposition newspaper. He got the best shot. They were running up the mountains, the Blue Mountains outside of Sydney, about 60 miles out of Sydney. And it was quite evident that my father was going to be first with the best. Now, our photographer had the second best. So I thought, mm -mm, not bad for the idea that at least we'll have something and I'll have nothing. So the driver, I'll never forget his name, Curly Bramble, gave me a straight razor and I went across and slashed my father's tires. Well, that went on and uh, we were very close. We were living under the same roof. He didn't say a word until about three years later when I was a reporter, as opposed to a copy boy. There was a famous case in Australia called the Kingsgrove Slasher. At the time of his arrest, I found myself with a deadlock across a little outhouse. And there's a story raging on and I couldn't get out of the outhouse. There's a deadlock across it. And I'm yelling, help, help. And I can hear the police radios going and the sirens. The story's going on around me and I'm not there. Who did it? My father. I, of course, used some Anglo-Saxon expletives when I protested. And I said, you realize I could have got fired over it? And he said, remember the day you let down my tires?